Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a review for the Casino Heist DLC and I'll explain to you all of the important things that you need to know for this heist. Let's get into it. So firstly when you load up the heist you will be introduced with Meet Lester and this is going to be an icon that will no notify you that you have to go to a specific location where you'll be introduced to Miss Cheng who will be your financial advisor for these heists and she'll be your benefactor and help you set up the heists. So, to set them up, you're going to need to purchase an arcade. This is going to be a pretend business where you confront your property and actually secretly plan out how you're going to rob the Diamond Casino. There's a four in the city and two out of the city, and obviously they're all varied in price. Some of them are more expensive than others, but you can purchase low-end ones. It won't impact your gameplay. Once you've purchased one of your arcades, you'll be able to then go on these missions where you have to collect and set up your arcade to make it look legitimate, but then you'll be able to plan your first heist. So some of the cars that have been added in is two legendary vehicles on the motorsports page. They're both SUVs and they're both four doors. But both of them have very nice sporting interiors and exteriors and look sort of like a Jaguar from, obviously, the Jaguar cars. <laughs> also, you can purchase one of these cars for absolutely free. You can win it on the spinny wheel inside the casino. Try your luck this week and try and win it before it goes. Also, there's four extra vehicles on the Southern San Andreas website where you can purchase a, a desert crawler, a dune buggy, and then two sort of normal looking vehicles. These are really cool, and I like them all because they can all be customised differently. Comment down below your favourite one and which ones you've purchased. Also, you can buy civilian vehicles from the Pegasus website as this DLC is all about blending in when you're doing these heists. You're going to have to purchase some civilian clothing items and vehicles such as police outfits and other sort of fire service outfits that I found as well as these cool emoji masks which you can pick up from Paswucci Beach and they've inserted all of these different emojis into the game and they're all quite fun and quite cheap they're quite affordable so you and your team of friends could easily purchase a few of these and get some funny screenshots of you all posing around your favorite vehicle after you've paid for it and won your casino heist so yeah there's a few different emoji masks and I'm looking forward to purchase a few of these for myself and also get this heist done and here is a little easter egg Madame Nazar has popped up we've seen her in Red Dead 2 and obviously here she is as a little arcade machine so that's quite cool also Jimmy DeSanta from single player GTA 5 has been brought in and he helps you in your arcade run, it, run the place and manage it as well as another lady who's been added in but yeah two easter eggs at the end there enjoy the heist guys I'll see you all soon good luck 